Hey everyone, I'm just going to jump right into it. I kind of want to demo a feature that I have with uh, banning players from the guild. Uh, I, I think there's some things on it um, that are maybe not well known. I kind of want to walk through a few steps, maybe show a few features that maybe some people don't know about. And most importantly, uh, I, I want to show off some of the new things as well. And so, uh, so one of the things that's cool that the add-on does is it tracks people that leave the guild. Um, whether they leave on good standing or bad standing. And so as you can see, like as an example, um, right here in the log, it says Samurai is returning for the first time. And so because the add-on tracks the player, we know that he left the guild on the 16th of August last year, 2018, which was a little over five, about five and a half months ago. And, uh, and it tells me the date he originally joined was just the day before. So he was only in the guild for about one day, um, which makes complete sense because this is his lowest rank. This is the lowest rank in the guild. He never even had a chance to move up to the next rank. Um, so I actually didn't even remember this. So he came back to the guild um, somewhat recently. I didn't even know who he was, and, uh, and, it, and the add-on still let me know um, because I was tracking that data. But... What if the person was banned from the guild? Well, the add-on does the exact same thing, except now you get a nice big red warning that says, hey, this player was banned from the guild, um, but they got reinvited. And the cool thing about it is that the add-on actually tracks something called the GUID in a player. And the reason this is important is because if, let's say, they, they quit the guild they name change and they try to rejoin your guild, the GYD is a server specific identifier that never changes. And so they can change their name, their race, their uh, or whatever, that GYD will never change. And so if they try to rejoin the guild, it'll check on that. Not only will it still warn you that they rejoined the guild, it'll tell you that the player name changed as well. Um, the only time this isn't true is if they server transfer to another server and then maybe server transfer back, um, it actually resets the GYD data, unfortunately. Um, but with, with that being said, it's kind of a very powerful tool. And I, I, I want to give it as a, a demo, as an example of kind of how to do these bands as well. And, uh, and I should also mention that this is actually only true as of patch 8.0. Uh, previously, the GYD data was not readily available to players unless they were currently online. Now I can pull it from any player um, in the guild, uh, whether they're online or offline, it doesn't matter. It makes uh, the add-on makes my life much easier in programming this. So let's say I, I want to add a ban. Well, first thing, new feature, is, uh, is I did add a uh, autocomplete option so we can go through the guildies and we'll see like uh, suggested you know matches and stuff like that so let's say I, I want to add a guildie that's no longer in the in the guild um, uh, Tarami let's say so this is nice guy he's just no longer in the guild I'm gonna do it as an example but we're gonna we're gonna ban him so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, accept the ban notice when I selected the player it automatically selects the server it selects their class um, if this is a, um, uh, a connected realm, you would have uh, a drop down of all the connected realm options. And let's just say he's a keyboard turning noob. Are you sure you want to ban the player? Yeah, let's go ahead and confirm. In fact, I'm going to throw in a little uh, wrench to the thing here. Let's call him a, a demon hunter. And then I'm going to set it. Now watch what happens when I hit enter. Well, as you can see, the add-on tells me, hey, this player plays the Hunter class, not a Demon Hunter. Because the, the player is in the database already, the add-on will check against that to verify that the data is accurate. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, look at, let's, let's try doing something else a, a little bit different. What if we ban, oh, let me just confirm this ban so you can kind of see. So now he's added to the ban list. Why don't we just pull some random player from... The chat. Uh, the reason I want to show this is because the add-on has the ability to pull a little bit of extra data, even though they were never in the guild. They were, the, you know, you don't have any metadata profiles built to the player. The add-on has never touched this player before, but I want to ban them just because I saw them being an idiot in chat, and I just don't want them in the guild. So here we go. I'm going to add Mythic Scales. 
And the add-on, let's just say he's a shaman. Now we, we, we see that that's not accurate. He's a warrior, just looking at the chat. And I'm going to call him a noob. And then the add-on doesn't know anything about this player yet, but as soon as I confirm it, it's going to do a little bit of work behind the scenes, requesting some additional details. And uh, and you know anyone? Oh, you know what? I think I misspelled the player. Oh yeah, mythic. It's two C's in a row. So I'll, I'll I'll go back to that in just a second. But look right here. This player was unable to be identified. The add-on lets me know. So I can still create a ban for a player, but it's mostly useless because if they were unable to be identified, if they ever try to rejoin the guild, um, it's not going to work because I wasn't able to pull their important GUID matching data, anything like that. This could maybe be useful as just kind of simple information, um, but yeah, it's not going to be able to warn you, but it, it'll, it'll tell you right here. So why don't I try adding that again? So mythic what is that mythic sales oh oh it's one of those uh <laughs> it's one of those uh carriers or whatever you call it so let's call him a paladin this time and he's a cheater somebody that sells carries for real money probably and then i'm going to confirm it and the add-on's going to take a look and then you know what it actually tells me, hey, Mythic Sales plays the Warrior class, not the Paladin. And now, not only did it actually correct it, add it to my ban list, you, know, you see it no longer says it was unable to identify. I actually have successfully pulled this player's GUID. The process is actually really complicated behind the scenes <laughs> how I do this. Um, but it, it's not as simple as you think. But unfortunately, I, I don't have the rank information, obviously, because they were never in the guild. Um, I'm just going to do one last ban as an example. So let's choose somebody in the guild. Let's choose Cernatomic and uh, another noob. Cernatomic has 12 alts. The add-on can now choose to ban all of the alts together. So I'm going to go ahead and confirm that. And as you can see, all of these players that are still in the guild are now banned. In fact, if I bring up if I bring up Cernatomic's name, even right here on their own window, this player was previously banned. I can ignore the ban right from the window. I can ignore it from here. And if I want to remove a ban, I just remove them. It's really as simple as that. Uh, editing a band gives me the ability to modify them, change some information. Maybe I selected a player with the wrong class. Like for example, let's go ahead and remove this band. I'm going to edit this one to the correct name. And uh, you kind of get the idea. So I'll end the video here. But um, anyway, I hope this is helpful. And, uh, and as always, if you guys have any additional recommendations, I, I uh, always love to hear them. Have a good night.